BPA and Dwayne Meteorologist Bobby Marches here with your outlook for February 4th, 2022. It is Friday, end of the work week. And unfortunately, we have a mess on our hands this morning for parts of the region, and that's only going to get worse for areas farther south and east with time. We have a very slow moving boundary moving through the region today, and it's very easy to see where this is. Right along where the the, uh, the pinkish co pink color is here is where the boundary exists, and along that boundary is where you have the colder temperatures to support freezing rain. Uh, further north and west, far northwest, there's an area of, small area of light snow and sleet uh, that will go on this morning, and uh, further south and east, you are very warm and rain early this morning. So there's it's going to change, though. The temperatures are going to drop, but it's, it's not going to go below freezing for a while, probably till the uh, precipitation ends in our far southeastern areas. But this will eventually uh, start creeping down to the south and east, and that boundary will change things over uh, before it ends for some areas across uh, at least down to maybe like the Lehigh Valley and uh, Berks County and places like that. And you go up to northern New Jersey, extended from there, it will have that changeover as well. But I think the precipitation is going to end before uh, the cold air gets into for areas farther southeast from that. So it's not going to be a big deal for areas farther to the south. Uh, as we get over to temperatures here this morning, this is looking at 6 o'clock in the morning on the NAM. And you can see see where that boundary is. It's draped across southeast PA. But even after it goes through over the next couple of hours, the temperatures only drop down to the mid-30s. And then precipitation will be ending by then. So I don't think there's going to be an issue there with freezing temperatures. Up here uh, in the interior have no problem whatsoever. And you had that changeover occur uh, a little bit earlier as we look over to the high-res uh, NAM here, the three kilometer NAM that ran this evening. And you can see this is looking at 6, uh, 6 a.m. also. By the way, you can see the time up here in the upper right hand corner as I move this forward, just to give a cross reference here. But you can see an extensive area in the purple here of freezing rain. Sleet is further to the northwest, and then the, and the uh, blue indicates uh, some, some little bit of snow here in our very far northwestern areas. Uh, but it'll still, it'll still rain here. Uh, Lehigh Valley back to Burks and uh, just south of Harrisburg, you get down to like maybe York County. It's just starting to change over here at this point in the far northern parts of that county. But it's just rain elsewhere further southeast. And there's quite a spread in temperatures you can see above me here. Uh, today is 26 to 52 is a spread from northwest to southeast. Usually we have a spread like we're going to see tomorrow from northwest to southeast across the region. 22 to 30 is a little bit more reasonable uh, from northwest to southeast, but today it's quite a spread, and that's because that boundary is right, right across our region. Now the temperatures will be dropping, and this is these are the earlier morning highs, uh, especially in the southeastern areas, and then it will be dropping off from there. Uh, but we're going to move this forward and just show you what this does. This boundary does, in fact, move further south and east, and you get some freezing rain uh, when you get closer to uh, noon here in these areas in the lower Susquehanna Valley up through the Lehigh Valley and Poconos. Uh, but it's just brief here for some of those areas, and then this ends by about mid-afternoon, mid to late afternoon, it starts pulling away. Uh, so you get a very brief area of freezing rain, maybe some sleet uh, at the very tail end, and that's it. Okay, So it's not going to be a real big deal in these areas further south. Where it is going to be a big deal is where we had marked up here uh, it, that is, it has already started overnight. So from the Poconos, uh, especially the higher elevations of the Poconos, and as you head back, back uh, to the southwest here, of the northern parts of the lower Susquehanna Valley, you'll have uh, that changeover occur several hours before uh, before daybreak, okay? So this is going to continue off to the east here, but again, it's just timing the precipitation end with the, the cold air, and I don't think it gets down to Philadelphia. You might have it briefly here in parts of southeast PA away from the city, uh, but then we get up into northern New Jersey, and you get freezing rain there. We had freezing rain changeover actually pretty early uh, last night, but we had that uh, changeover occur uh, in far northern New Jersey, especially uh, Sussex, Sussex County and, uh, you know, the normal, new, the normal higher elevation spots in northern New Jersey got into that a little sooner. But this will be uh, moving out of here and uh, we'll be out of our hair. There's a lot of rain that fell with this as well. So uh, I'm sitting here uh, about 1.2 inches of rain since the start of the event. I'm just uh, it, just north of Allentown by about five miles uh, in eastern Pennsylvania. So, I mean, we had um, it, it looks like it's, if you look outside, it looks like a lot worse, like a lot more rain fell than it did. And that's because the ground is pretty frozen yet. So instead of absorbing in the ground, like it normally does, like you have a lot of rain in the summertime, it just, you know, a lot of it, you'll have some runoff, but you'll have, you know, uh, some absorption by the ground. You can't absorb it if it's that, if it's that frozen. So it just ran off everywhere and it looks a lot more of a mess than it actually is. Now with these temperatures going down here today, once you get below freezing, 
uh, by this evening in our far southeastern areas, you'll get there too. Any standing water that you have on the ground is going to freeze, okay? Uh, that, that includes roadways, that includes sidewalks. This is not a flash freeze situation here because it's going to be a gradual drop off. Flash freeze, by the way, is like if you went from, say, 40s down to the uh, 20s in a matter of an hour or two, okay? That's a flash freeze. This is over several hours, four or five hours, where you see the front come through and then you see a gradual drop off. So if you have, do have any standing water at that point, uh, any puddles or you know any wet roads or wet sidewalks, they will freeze once we go below freezing. It's going to get pretty cold tonight with those clouds decreasing and getting back down to the teens and 20s here for overnight lows. So keep that in mind, okay? And this will, uh, again, move off the coast. We're going to have a mostly sunny weekend, however. And it uh, looks like uh, temperatures are going to be in the, stuck in the 20s here on Saturday with those mostly sunny skies at the colder day. Uh, it's going to have breezy conditions during the day on Saturday, 15 to 25 mile per hour winds, uh, wind gusts. Those are peak wind gusts, not common. So it's not going to be crazy wind, but it will be enough of a breeze to make it feel even colder than the, the air temperature uh, indicates. And then Sunday, we start to climb out of it a little bit, getting to uh, maybe the low to mid 30s for highs uh, here on, uh, on Sunday, but still mostly sunny skies expected there too. Okay, and that's because this high pressure is moving off uh, to our east, and uh, we have a, a flow coming in from a different direction. Instead of being north, it's going to come in a little bit more westerly and change things around a little bit. Okay, uh, actually southerly, I'm sorry. Sunday, it's coming from, from the south. And then uh, that's because the high pressure is sitting off here uh, to our east and moving away. Uh, this system here that we are watching for maybe Monday, now looks like maybe Monday night into Tuesday morning. We'll have to watch for our southeastern areas. This is the European model doesn't really show too much, uh, except for some showers, which I think is wrong. There's probably going to be some snow showers. If this does come close enough, and pretty much everything is indicating that it will be something to watch at least. It's just a weak area of low pressure. This is not a big system, but it's close enough. It's inching closer here to the coastline at least where you might have uh, some, maybe a wintry component. If this comes any further northwest, you could have some uh, light snow out of it, but it wouldn't be a big deal either way. So we could keep an eye on that. Right now, the official forecasts uh, we have on our local forecast on the website have a dry week for its entirety, just mostly cloudy skies Monday night for the interior locations, uh, and no precipitation. But if this change will certainly let changes, we'll certainly let you know. Um, right now, we have uh, mostly sunny over the weekend, and then Monday, Tuesday, partly cloudy skies both days, mostly cloudy Monday night uh, as this system passes by. And then after that, we are uh, mostly sunny here on Wednesday and Thursday should be a partly cloudy uh, skies day as well. Temperatures are going to be moderating to near to very slightly above average by the time we get to uh, head toward the middle of next week and the latter part of next week. So it is going to warm up a little bit, and uh, but we're not seeing any big snowstorms here on the horizon uh, at least not in the next seven to ten days. We will watch the period around maybe the middle of the month. I'm going to look at that in today's long-range outlook and see if we have any signals down the road. I don't think winter's over yet. Just because you have a warm, warm a milder week or an uneventful week doesn't necessarily mean that winter is over. When, and uh, I'll certainly take a look at that in today's long-range outlook. I'm EPA and WA Meteorologist Bobby Marcus. That is your outlook for February 4th, 2022. Have a great Friday.